All right. Chief scientist from uh, the Imagination Station in Toledo, Carl Nelson, is with us here in Studio C. And uh, you've got a bed of nails and nails coming out of blocks of wood and all kinds of stuff going on. We've got the Titanic exhibit that we're hosting it out in the Science Center now. Okay. And when you think about that vessel two and a half miles below the ocean, yep. it's experiencing 6,000 pounds per square inch of pressure. Pretty soon it'll just be sediment. It'll be all gone. It's just well, it's going to start rusting away in the next yep. few years. So, so I thought we'd talk about pressure and force. Force is just a push or a pull. I think everybody kind of intuitively understands understands that, okay. but pressure is a force per area. So if I take this balloon and press it against these nails, okay. I spread the force of my hand out over all the nails, everything's fine. Mm -hmm. The thing you don't want to do is inadvertently hit a nail on the end and it's going to pop. Okay. Okay? So balloons are one thing, I think your body is way more interesting. All right. So we're going to have you live. I didn't expect somebody to say that to me today, but <laughs> <laughs> we did have the sex doctor in here. All we're right. going to have you lie on this bed of nails. Which way? Okay, why don't you, if you come around the front. Hey, hey, Jason, you be careful, man. Oh, thanks, man. All right. Dr. Dina is here if you need what any What I want you to uh, do is go ahead and sit down right here. Okay. And very carefully, what you're going to do is kind of a crab walk. You're going to lift your body up and then lower yourself onto the nails. I just don't want you to fall on them. All that right. would be bad. Like this? Yeah, perfect. Uh, and we've got oh, a little oh. pillow for you here as well. All right. Now, if you want, you can extend your legs down. All right, I'm good. You're going to want to do that. You're going to want to get comfortable here. Because I feel like the, I'm perfectly balanced weight-wise. perfectly wise balanced? Here. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm going to add a little bit of safety protection for you here as well. So All we're right. going to put this on your head and All tip right. it down. We should still be able to hear you. Help! Oops. You look lovely. <laughs> now, your weight, let's say you weigh 200 pounds. It's spread out over 400 nails. Each nail is only pressing up with a half a pound of force. Okay. Not enough to pierce the skin. All right. Okay. So that being said, I thought we would add another bed of nails do it, on top no, of Carl. you. Carl, Carl, really, I like that guy, man. Come on. <laughs> He'll be fine. He'll be fine. You Don't sure? Worry. So I'm going to balance this right on top of your head. It's like your Jason chest here. sandwich. And oh, if you man. could actually hold the bed of nails for me, you're going to balance it just a little bit. Okay. Okay. And the next thing we're going to do is add a little bit of weight on top of you because that bed of nails doesn't really weigh a whole lot. Okay? Hey, man, you all right? I'm, I'm, I'm making it. You sure? Yeah, I, think right, I think you'll be if fine. If you need something, I'm over here relaxing. <laughs> now, I am going to add a little bit of extra... If I see a hammer, I might freak. A little bit of extra protection down here for oh, your legs. Thank you. And, like I said... No, Carl, no! We've got the 30-pound cinder block. Don't do it! All right? Now, Ugh. how's that feel? Okay, I'm making it. It's okay, fine. now all I want you to do is move your hands Seriously? to your face. All right. Seriously? Remember that maneuver I taught you there? Over the, the glass here? Over the glass, yeah. You're going to protect your face because, and it's a good thing you have your face covered. Oh, because I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. He doesn't I can't want to believe see, it, Carl. No way. He doesn't want to see the 10-pound sledgehammer. You're kidding me. All right. So what I'm going to do is we're here in Detroit. Car manufacturers build in crumple zones in cars to absorb impacts. Can I ask them a question real quick? Please, do. You signed all your paperwork and <laughs> everything's okay. You know what I mean, right? Just checking. All right. I think he's okay. <laughs> all right. This brick is going to become a crumple zone for this sledgehammer when I smash it down on his body. I'm afraid, Carl. I'm leaving. I'm well, stay here. You can actually help me. Oh, really? Why don't you give me a countdown from five, and we're going to smash this thing with a good deal of force. All right, man. I always dug you. All right, um, ready? Yeah. Let's go from five. Five, four, three, two, one. Whoa! So we're not holding back on the smashing here. You all right? Yeah, I didn't know I was going to have acupuncture today. <laughs> all right, let's now go ahead and stay, wow. stay down there just for a second. Let's get this stuff off you. And okay. what's really interesting is when you get up, you're going to do it very carefully. I'm going to give you some help here. Okay. I'm just gonna sit straight up. Oh, you got it, man. You're right. Check out your back. All right. You see any blood? No blood, but a really nice pattern from all those nails that were pressing against you. No blood. Again, no blood. But tell us, no how did blood. that feel when the brick was smashed? Uh, you know, I have to be honest. I was a little worried there for a second because I could feel some of those nails up between my shoulder blades. You well, know. if you squirm around, that gets a little painful. But if you just lie flat, you'll be okay. All right. But even breaking the brick, wow. probably not too big of a trauma on you, right? No, no, no. I didn't even feel that. Was, Perfect. All right. So, oh wait, my phone was right here. Oh no. I'm <laughs> no, you'll be 